Hi folks, we are here in Hickory, North Carolina at the Inside Pitch Promotions Toy Show. And uh, it is filled up big time. We'll go inside and uh, see what's going on. So let's go. And here is their cool van from Inside Pitch Promotions. Yeah, I like how it's decorated with all the toys. <laughs> it's pretty cool right there. Love that. And that's where we're headed. Right this way. And we are inside. Yeah, they got a lot of vendors here today. It's going to take me a little while to check out everything. But yeah, it's busy. Of course, one of my first booths I always see when I come in is uh, this one here and he's got like tons of vintage and marks toys got a lot of the uh classic star wars right here just a mixture of all kinds of figures look at that evil knievel right there for 25 but he always has a great selection of toys here and of course jeff is back with his toys and i love the freddy krueger in the waldo check out all these little gremlins here those are cool. He always has great stuff, and I always get at least something from him. There he is. There's Jeff there. How's it going? Doing all right? <laughs> good. So, yeah, it's a good show. I mean, they really have a little bit of everything. So, um, yeah, I'll go through. Ooh, I like that Joker right there. That's pretty cool. Excuse me? Yeah, he looks good. And you got all these Ninja Turtles here, too. Got a few of these guys. I might have to see how much he wants for those. But, um, look. Godzilla, you got some of the Jurassic Park dinosaurs here. It's great. G.I. Joe, of course. A lot of G.I. Joe. Look at the hockey guys, too. The hockey ones, these are the starter lineup, uh, starting lineup right here. Those are neat. A lot of Star Trek. You got Fred here for 15. Some Witcher, some Robin Hood. There's the uh, Fire Tuck right there. And you gotta go through, like he's going through, go through those boxes, too. You're bound to find something. He's got tons of stuff. Look at all these Lucy wrestlers here. A lot of um, totes with tons of Lucy's in them. Old JBLs over there. He's got everything in this booth. Man, they're just going through it. Of course, tons and tons of Hot Wheels. I love the old Tonka right there. Cement truck. A lot of Hot Wheels. A lot of cars over here too and Pops. A lot of Pops right here. I love these right here. You got the classic 3PO and R2D2. Ralph McGuire. Yeah, nice. Tons of totes down here with figures. And as you go up here, check out the keychains in these earrings. And I love these little things too. You might find something just to put in your office, stuff like that, or just for the kids. Very nice. Tons of McDonald toys too. Here's the Charlton Heston character. That's nice from Planet of the Apes. Very nice. I've been looking at these uh, ring giants right here. And uh, been looking for Roddy. Look at this old Roddy right here. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen him before. That one's pretty cool. Maybe it's because I'm so used to have, you know, him having the kilt on. That might be what's going on with that one. And look at all these Lucy Thundercats right here, too. But yeah, he's got uh, 30 on each of the uh, giants over there, ring giants. And I've been having my eye on this uh, ring giant here, classic uh, Roddy Piper. I like that one. He's 30 for that. So yeah, all these are 30 bucks. Just going to walk by here so you can enjoy all these wonderful toys here. There's so much to look at. And that's one thing. I ran to a friend, and the one thing that she had noticed, too, is that there's just tons of loose figures like this really cool which I love and you never know what you might find in those bunches of Lucy's great toys everywhere of course the classic uh, Tonka's here die cast look at all this this is great a lot of vendors and I always love these guys here you get a whole bag full of them Little action figures here. I used to play with those, and they got the action toys. I think those were some of my very first action figures from the early early 70s, and they're getting popular again. A lot of people collecting those, and check out that space shuttle. That's neat. And look at all these classic Atari 
games right here. Three dollars each, two for five. I know some collectors are probably buy the entire box because you're gonna probably find uh, one or two awesome games in there. And you also get the uh, uh, Atari right here for one seventy-five. And I always check out this booth here. I bought a lot of Space 1999 figures from him in the past. He's always has a good selection of toys here. So go through them carefully. These guys look pretty cool right here. Those are nice. And look at these guys. Misfits right here. Wow, and those are neat. I like those. Very cool. Look at the size of that misfit. He's huge. I'm just slowly going through each one. He's got some nice Lucy's here. Great figures. And look at the Mad Game right here, too. I also like some of the classic science fiction books, too. You never know what you might find there. And I've been collecting those a lot lately, too. Yeah, I love going through these titles. So check them out, too. I'll probably go through the magazines, too. You might find some good deals there as well. And I'm looking for Pee Wee stuff. So my friend also told me that she did see a table with some Pee Wee Herman toys. So we're going to check that out. Hopefully it's still there. So they do have new in box Pee Wee Herman. It's 200 each. Yeah, they're in primo. These boxes are in great shape, too. She, look how many she has. And check out. They got Cherry as well. She's not sure what the price is on Cherry, but she's got three of those. And then look at this for 500 Got the whole Pee Wee Playhouse play set. Yeah, $500 for that. And these are the Pee Wee Playhouse bendies right here. Check those out. These are great, made by Matchbox. You get the whole thing. There's Randy and Globy right here. He's got all kinds of awesome stuff here. And check this out. He's also got the, uh, it's like the baby carriage here. Uh, magic, no, that's the magic screen, okay. You get the magic screen. Look at the classic Beetlejuice and the classic Police Academy. You got boatloads of Return of the Jedi, five dollars each. And the uh, Droid World right here. So I'm guessing those are probably five dollars each too. Very nice. So yeah, a lot of classic stuff. Love these right here too. Universal Monsters right here. Very nice. You got a nice set right there. I love these right here too. Check these out. Yeah, they're very about 20 bucks each. It's actually not too bad. I love these. These are great. Then over here, you also got the Gill Man, creature from the Black Lagoon. He's 75. You got the bobblehead here, classic for 100 bucks. And you get this little guy. He's 15. Yeah, I like him. And you got little Joe. You got Haas. You got Lauren Green, dad from Bonanza. These are great. And I do like that Elvira. Here she is there, and here. It's a cool statue of her. Just in time for Halloween. And check out these Walton figures. Mom and Pop, Grandma and Grandpa, and John Boy and Ellen right there. And I'm loving this table right here. He's got loads and loads of vintage toys. Look at this. I love that right there. And uh, yeah, a lot of tin toys like these right here. Made out of tin. Very nice. Look at these. Love the boat too and the police car. Helicopters. Look at all these. Wow. Might find something here. This, this, these are the kind of toys I like picking up. Some of the vintage stuff. And there's Barney. Without his head. I thought he's on Dino. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that is Barney because Fred didn't wear that. The, the brown. And um, I'm loving this hamburger right here. And you also got the uh, peanuts. Mr. Peanut right there too. It's plushies. These are great. Love both of those. He's got a lot of Marks. Toys like these guys. I used to have those as a kid. Now look at the old uh, soldiers here. And he's got stuff also on the floor. So be sure to check that out. This is a great table. He's got a great selection of stuff here. And check out that uh, wind up. E.T. right there. These are beautiful love all this and stuff up here too on the top jet fighter there got some more of the universal monsters right there the mummy it looks like the Bela Lugosi Dracula you know windmill Dutch mill right there yeah this is a great table I love this 
and they will have a lot of the new stuff too. I've been, I've been enjoying these uh, McFarlane toys right here. These are great. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, these are great figures. And I'm loving these figures from Power Town. Look at these. You got Magnum TA, Kim Von Eric, Vern Gagne, Stan Hansen, Lou Fez, classics. And he's also got a lot of the newer stuff here too. Some of the elites, some of the ultimates. Yeah, look at these right here. Nice selection. And I love this three pack right here. Check that out. It's kind of dark back in here, but check him out. I found a creepy cruiser right here. And I'm even finding some uh, Dungeons and Dragons stuff for your game. You got more of the books here, some of the old paperbacks. Very nice. Look at all the raisins right here. You got a boat load or a tote load. Now I'm digging that Ed Grimley. That is fantastic. I love Ed. He's great. So this is definitely from the 80s. Got Charles, got William, got Diana there. Yeah, so that's yes, definitely 80s when they were probably still together when uh, William was born. JBLs right here. Like that Macho Man. He's only eight, eight bucks, Ram. You got Andre the Giant, Brutus the Barber, Beefcake, Animal, The Sheik. Okay, got a little bit of everything right here. I like this Fred Flintstone plushie. He's only $10 for him. You got Betty Rubble too, right there. And check out these Tyco sets. These are great. And that classic submarine toy right there, the Atomic Sub. It's motorized too, but I used to have these right here, these old Tyco sets. I'd tear them up. And this table here has got some really nice model kits. And if you're into modeling, yeah, it's got a great selection here. Tons of vintage cars here too. Yeah, check all these out. We've got tubs of them down here underneath the table too. Check out the old Mayflower truck right there too and that Batmobile. Very nice. Got the strawberry shortcake. Look at these guys. These are awesome. And some more Mark figures right here. Tons of Star Wars Lucy's right here. Wrestlers, Legends. Very nice. And that's what the fun of toy hunting is, actually going through this stuff. That's that's real toy hunting. Yeah, not picking up uh, statues and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, you, you want to pick up real toys. You come here. Now these are the Joes I collect right here. And he's got accessories right here for your Joes. He's got a great selection of the dolls too. The last one I really need is this guy. The blonde guy with the short hair. That's the last one. And I'll have them all. I get about 16 Joes. The 64 through 72 versions. And uh, yeah, I'll have to go through the box too and see if I can find any cool accessories. Check that out. 70 bucks there. Get more committee. Their truck. That is pretty cool. Haven't seen one of those in ages. And I'm also digging the Welcome Back Carter figures. Check that out. See the backdrop too. This is the whole thing, the classroom. That's pretty cool. Man, it's a job of the hut set. It's pretty cool. Comes with the box. You also get the land speeder here. He's 115 for that one. Not sure what the price is on Job of the Hut, but that is pretty cool. The only thing I have is Jabba himself. I don't have his uh the playset. You got some more vintage Joes right here. And then your Marks. Yeah, he's got a great selection of Marks toys. And I always come to his booth, check his stuff out. He's always got a great selection. He's got a lot of accessories here too, if you're missing something. Yeah, you can get them right here. And also a lot of the Joe clothing and accessories right over there. More classics right here. Check those out. These are the ones that you put the batteries in right here and they dance around and play the instruments and then over here you get the wind-ups right here those are great then you get a lot of the old Mego figures those are awesome and there's another vintage Joe 
And look at this array of Evil Knievel play sets right here. And of course the original stunt cycle set. And these are the reproductions that came out not too long ago. You got that G.I. Joe astronaut and he's got tons. I must say tons, but he's got a lot of lunch boxes here. Classic. And check out that classic robot. That's great. And this old Coca-Cola clock. You should see like in the pool halls. Our Pizza Hut. Those are neat. And you gotta have your Boglins. And if you're into G.I. Joe's, of course, a ton of these are all over the place. And you got more classic Star Wars, He-Man, some Mego figures right here. Very nice. You got some old sets right here too. So just tons of G.I. Joe, of course. Head down this way. Of course, you can find some of your knockoffs too. So, and sometimes those knockoffs are worth more than the, than the originals. Tons of the classic vintage magazines like Modern Screen, Screen Parade. Yeah, he's got a lot right here. Old TV guides, old Mad Magazines and Crack Magazines. You got pens here, bubblegum bubble gum cards. And this table, $2 each. So there's all kinds of stuff here. You get old trolls here too with the Red Sox. I'm just slowly making my way through all these tables. Just tons of stuff to go through. I'm not really into the cars as much. I used to be a long time ago. But I'm going to head over here. And my friend who owns the Star Wars store. Yeah, he's here too in the back. So he's always got a great selection of Star Wars vintage toys. But yeah, I'm just kind of looking around at all the different uh, vendors and what they have. A lot of wrestlers right over here as well. And I just recently picked up this, uh, I call him Fat Bastard, but I think they call him Fat Guy too. Um, but yeah, look at those old Migos too. Werewolf and Frankenstein. Amber 30, you got this animatronic little three stooges right here playing golf. More classic Hot Wheels here. Yeah, got a bunch of different die cast airplanes. A lot of great vintage stuff right here. More vintage Star Wars right here. And also right next to it, vintage G.I. Joe's from the 80s. Got some of these vintage uh, Hot Wheel play sets right here, $15 each. Those are nice. I love those. They're in great shape, too. Got the Shell Razor here from the Ninja Turtles, $95 for him. And right next door, he got uh, Lily, a little bobblehead of her. We got that Teletubby. All these uh, Lucy Ninja Turtles right here, $10 each. That's not too bad. And of course, you can have your Star Wars ships here. Get that uh, Star, the uh, Naboo cruiser right there. That's pretty cool. You also got the shuttle, the Imperial shuttle right, shuttle right there. I can't talk right. Really like that uh, Diana doll right there. She's only 80 bucks. Very nice. And these plushies are real popular right now. Look at that Chewbacca, that gnome. Yeah, these are very popular. Check these out. Demolition, 40 bucks for the three pack. Yeah, it's just some classics right there. Loving that Frankenstein, that's pretty cool right there. Some really cool little figures right here. Tons of G.I. Joe vehicles here. Great selection as well. Love the hovercraft. And you got the SR-71. I can't remember the name of the uh, the ship, what it was called in G.I. Joe, but it looks pretty cool. Here's something you don't see much of. Check it out. Spice Girls. Got Donnie Marie. And you also have Sean Cassidy. And Fair Fawcett. More classic Mego figures in the Waltons. And I always love going through this table. He's always got some great figures lined up. So I'm going to go through here and check all these out. He's got that classic Hasbro G.I. Joe box here. That's pretty neat. Again, a great selection of toys here. Look at all this. And of course, you're going to get your Barbies here. So, all kinds of different Barbies, different nationalities. So, a lot of tables with Barbies this year. Another nice booth here of toys. Yes, yeah, a great selection. I mean, they really all do have a great selection. Check that out. E Man right here. Very nice. Castle Grace, y'all. And more He Man Lucy's. Cool. And I knew I was bound to find Mythic Legions. 
He's got a bunch here too. I like that Hawkeye. Yeah, nice. Get the G.I. Joe classifieds right here as well. And Transformers. Been digging all these die cast cars too. He's got a lot of great themed ones here. And this has been a really, really good show. Got a few treasures from my collection. I'm gonna look a little bit more before we head out, but yeah, it's been a really good show. So I finally found the Action Force figures here. This is from the exclusive, the G.I. Joe uh, convention right there. And here's the regular right here. But the only time you could get that was at the uh, convention. This particular figure, check him out, the Desert Rat. These are cool. Yeah, so Action Force, basically G.I. Joe, but they're in different packaging and they look a tad different, but these are beautiful. And one of my favorite booths here at the show is G.I. Dave's booth. It's tons of uh, G.I. Joe stuff. There he is there. He's got the, tons of the classified over there. He's got the vintage right here on the wall. I'm going to go through that. And he's also got accessories for your Joes. And he's got all kinds of Lucy's, Transformers. He's also got Star Wars. That's him in the blue shirt. Be sure to stop by and see his table. He's got some great deals too. And I, I'm, I always make sure to see him when I'm here at uh, these toy shows. Check out the boxes, the totes under the table. And I just wanted to show you this. This possum is awesome. This awesome possum. And I wanted to thank you for joining me here in Hickory at the toy show that Inside Pitch Promotions puts on. We've got a few goodies too, so I'll show that to you as well. So let's take a look real quick. Okay, so what I picked up at the toy show, you might find this kind of silly. When I first saw him and kind of bent him down, when I was looking at him like this. I said, that has got to be a Bigfoot doll. But no, it's actually a, an orangutan or a baboon. One of the two. But um, I thought about I could do some cool modifications to him. And I picked him up for a couple bucks. <laughs> you know, what the heck. But I'm gonna, I think I'm going to uh, redo the paint job on the face and make him look more like a Bigfoot. So, yeah, I picked him up for literally like $2.00. Now, this was very nostalgic pickup for me. This was uh, a plushie back in the day in the early 70s of the Hamburglar. Yeah, I had to pick him up, of course. There he is right there. McDonald's Hamburglar. I thought he was so cool. Just a little, little nostalgic fun stuff. And last but not least, I picked up the Creepy Cruiser Beetlejuice. Things in great shape as well. Look at that. Everything's intact. So has the stickers check him out and i got him for 25 which is not a bad deal and also i get the box too the box is of course not in great shape it's 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 been been abused but uh yeah i love this is fantastic and i've seen him run close to 100 bucks sometimes just in the car form but everything's intact and uh, I got to get some goo gone or goo stuff to get some of that sticky. Put the price tag on there, which, yeah, I don't recommend putting the, a sticky price tag on your toys. Yeah, don't do that. But, um, yeah, he's in great shape. I'm a big Beetlejuice nut. Yeah, we picked up the Creepy Cruiser. So, yeah, that's what I picked up here at the show. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, there are actually stuff here that I've never seen before. I haven't seen in a very long time. I, and I want to say oddball stuff, but oddball in a good way. So make sure you make this show if you can. Uh, and I'll have a, a link 
to the Inside Pitch Promotions. They'll have their schedule listed there too when they're at different locations, Raleigh, Salisbury, here in Hickory. So yeah, be sure to plan that when you have a chance to. And I might run into you too because I ran into a bunch of my subscribers. So shout out to you guys. Great meeting you everybody. It was awesome. All right guys, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.